Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your favorite host, not Matt, not Chris, Nick Stromboli, <laughs> and Matt. I wonder if someone would ever see that clip of you saying Nick Stromboli and just think that's your last name. I really, it's crazy because I like instinctually will say Stromboli over Cerniolo consistently. And I'm Chris. Bow, bow. Welcome to the Cut the Camera podcast, episode number 33. We're back, we're living, we're happy, we're excited, and okay, we're ready okay. to chat to about prove? today's topic. Oh yeah, I guess what today's topic is. I actually know it. Do you know it, Matt? You're wearing the perfect shirt for it. It's a hint. Yeah, it's actually a really good hint. Do you know? So we're am I. So am I. I wore my shirt because I knew what the topic was. IP outside. These are like contradicting And I'm shirts. wearing mine to like hide. Kind of like all black. Do you have any guesses now? Just tell me, please. Did the flamingo fall? Yeah. Can you pick him up? He's going to just keep falling. No, he was fine. Today's topic is episode. survival skills, Matt. We're Yours is fine because like bears. Survival like, you skills. know what I mean? Like bears. Like, okay. yes. Bears you might see in the wild. And yours was like outside. Yeah, if you're in camping, there's no bathroom. You have to pee outside. Okay, <laughs> what a funny shirt. Today's episode is survival of the fittest as we explore extreme survival scenarios and basic tips and skills you need to come out on top. Yes, Ooh. I love that. That was good. I like that. The that was <laughs> rhythm. Like, it's giving Survivor the show. Mm-hmm. Oh. If I don't Survivor, I'd win. Whole nother I'd conversation. Win. Whole Matt, nother. Would, Matt would win just because he eats rice every day. And that's all you get on Survivor is white rice. And that would be like living his food fantasy. He really would. Matt, why Matt, are you making a reward challenge? Well, like, I don't eat rice. rice every day. So. No, you wish you could. I if, wish no, I could. Remember those Survivor auctions and then like they do rice and they're supposed to be like pissed because you get that every day? Matt's like, yeah, let's go. You like eat the rice. Oh my God. He was like smiling <laughs> at your joke. And then I was like, I can't do this. I can't smile. Like what would be like, it, okay, this is actually a fun question I'm going to ask. Go for it. If we were on Survivor, right? What would be your ideal meal to see, like Jeff un- unveil, unveil, unveil uh, at the Survivor auction? Like you're, you've probably been on the island for like 22 days, haven't eaten much besides rice and just water. Probably French fries. I was gonna say uh, truffle fries. Truffle fries or like just chips and salsa. Truffle, oh, like the salt oh. of chips and salsa, like good salsa though. If it was like fucked up salsa, I'd be pissed. Chips would be. Do you great. like guacamole? Fan, love it. But not the biggest truffle fan. Fly, truffle fry. Truffle fry. Okay, dude. No, I would probably... Oh, you guys... Nick, probably also really... pasta, a cheeseburger. I'm actually kind of hungry <laughs> right now. Yeah, I agree. I what agree. is on DoorDash? <laughs> I really agree. I'm starving, Yeah, actually. I really agree. You want to know what I would want, Nick? And you're going to be like... Get off your phone. How did I not pick that? I'm happy we're having this conversation. I would want some, some carbohydrates and some protein. And Kid, fuck out of here. I don't chicken need Alfredo? To know, but, nope. The perfect blend. Garlic bread. No. Oh. <laughs> I disagree already. A pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> the Hawaii pulled pork sandwich was the best sandwich the, I ever had You get the protein in, in the in the <gasps> pork, and then you get the carbohydrates oh in the God. bread. I can't and then, like, oh, my God, a pulled long. pork sandwich with, like, a large Dr. Pepper on Survivor. I'm <laughs> I'm winning the whole season if I get that. No, that's, already. like, a game changer. No, it really is. Like, the meals you can eat change the way you play the game. I'd, I'd be so agree. mentally out of it till they gave me a burger. Yeah, a burger. I That's would love point, a burger. Though. Oh my dude, god! Yes, man. That's like probably like, dude. I think that they should have a Survivor auction every single Survivor season. By his opinion, yeah, they're bringing them back. I know there was just one in this new season. I'm not watching this. New I wonder season, if they let so. the people keep the cash if you don't spend it on the Survivor auction. Probably, but it's like what for like for like game show money, it's not that much. It's like five hundred dollars. Yeah, for fucking auctioning on like cheap food. I know that, but I'm saying like if you keep no money, nothing beats like, like everybody it's saves like $500. it for the advantage at the end. It's like okay, <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> let's eat. You're all hungry. Let's eat. Let's, yeah, eat, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Bon appetit. Go on. I've seen like the people when they like get all hype and it's like just a tub of peanut butter and, and they're just like, like oh, oh my god, I'd be a little sick. Yeah, I saw someone got a bunch of peanut butter and like ate the peanut butter with their hands or something, and then someone offered them their money to lick their fingers when they're done. Ew, I would dude. eat the peanut butter off of your hands. Ew. I would never be that hungry. I would be. Okay, that's to like crazy. lick it off someone's. Feet. But you have to keep in if mind. I was star. <laughs> you say feet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I was starving, you have to keep in mind though. Like that person is like living in the jungle, hasn't washed their. So hands. am I. That is a great Whatever, point. Dude. Great Thank point. You. 
Who has the best basic survival skills? Mental, emotional, or physical? Okay, we'll start with mental. Who has the best mental survival skills? Who could withstand like mental torture the most? I the don't three? think that that's the question. I agree. What's your that's mental survival? That's a completely survival? different question. Okay, whatever. What do you? Who's the strongest mentally here? Let's not point fingers. Who is it, Matt? <laughs> Matt, who is it? I don't know, dude. You decide. Um, like on an island. Mentally? Who could take the most? Who could let it just all like... I feel like... Okay. I feel like Chris only because... I feel like Chris would like be thoroughly entertained with his own like thoughts and like his own little like... And like just like stuff like that, you know? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> his own little... He would. You do that, and they like, laugh. Ball. At I'm like, no, really I'm distracted. Using, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I'm trying to like feel it. I can see it. Can I like, have it I back? Just, yeah, yeah. You promise? I just want to feel it. Okay, give it back. Not what I thought it'd feel like. <laughs> really? Not at all. Like <laughs> you wouldn't be entertained enough. No, my mental my mental state would drop, and I'd be as equi- I'd be thinking as much as the sand my feet are in if Damn. I was stuck on an island. Mm. Good little emotional. Rhythm. I'd be the most obnoxious person ever to be stranded on an island with. Yeah. That's a fact. I'd be devastated. I'd be annoyed. I'd be, I'd be super sad. I would need yeah. entertainment. I need to bring back juggling. Nick, you always say this. I just really wish, like, if it was, like, medieval times, I'd love for my job to be to, like, entertain the king with, like, a silly hat and, <laughs> come like, on, juggling balls. <laughs> Dude, come on. That's exactly what my dream job would be. <laughs> medieval time, get me the hat. Get me the fit. Get me the big shoes. And I will juggle. The balls. Juggle the balls. Yeah. I would do it with ease. Okay, what's the next one? Fight or flight. Didn't answer all the other questions. Physical. I'm. I think I could be potentially the physically strongest. Don't look like at you me, guys dude. are leaner than I am. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a survival setting, an animal's coming to our fucking thing to try and like steal our food that we already have. I'm beating that shit up. Yeah, but I'm swift. You okay. may be stronger. You may, <laughs> you may pack a more punch than me, but I'm swifter for sure. I don't think it matters. It does. What, when, what, what like is your speed? How's animal? your speed going to affect how you get a coconut open? That's what I want to know. Well, I would use the speed of, and agility that I have to... To <laughs> what? To like throw a rock at it really fast. At a coconut. At a coconut. <laughs> yes. I would, without <laughs> question, have the most physical benefit out of the three of us to withstand surviving. That's... Cap. <laughs> okay, and it also just says survival skills. If I'm being kidnapped by someone, if I am in an evacuation situation, like we're getting people off a plane, because the plane situation. is I think I could think I am the most physical. I am the most physically equipped to help. Yes or no? Someone's, Not true. Someone's drowning in the water. I would help them. Not better. I've saved two people drowning before at the same time. Fact or cap? That is a fact. Fact. I hate factor cap. You'd like true or false, please. It is actually true though. I've yeah. saved two people from drowning. Tell people the story. I think I have before. Maybe we were it was in- just that we were in Vegas for my older brother. I was like twelve as well. No. I was a beefy twelve year old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but my older brother, we went to Vegas to visit my older brother, and we were at like this family resort. And this dad thought he was Michael Phelps, and he was like swimming back and forth laps through the pool. And his daughter wanted to like be with his her dad but he wouldn't like help her swim and she jumped in after him and he swam away from her and she couldn't swim so she started drowning yeah he didn't and then to be fair he didn't know his daughter jumped in after him like yeah. the guy like jumped in and started swimming this way and she jumped in behind him and he was long gone and she and couldn't she swim she drowning. started drowning and her mom who also couldn't swim her bright idea was to jump in to <laughs> save her daughter so she, they both started collectively drowning it was a family <laughs> drowning and i was like okay what are we gonna do about this and i swooped under like superman and saved them both from drowning. Yep. I don't even recall them saying thank you. Yeah. I don't either. But you did save them. They, they, they would have both drowned. Yeah. They were like coughing up water. Like it was insane. <laughs> yeah, like, <they're> like, <laughs> and at the same time, it was like one swoop. I have like yeah, two you, like, of them. Got them both. Growing your online business can be easy with the help of Shopify. When we first started posting content, selling merch was the furthest thing from our minds. But when we launched our first official Let's Trip store, Shopify helped us navigate the process from beginning to end. Whether you're selling a little, a lot, or somewhere in between, Shopify will help you feel confident in the growth of your business. 
Shopify is the global commerce platform that can help you sell at every stage of your business. You can sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling t-shirts, phone cases, dog collars, or anything else, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash cut, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash cut now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash cut. That was 12 or 13. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> what? That was insane. I was eating in and out crazy the next day. Yeah, you were. Dude, I can't even think about how many times we went to in and out when we were like visiting Justin in Vegas because... That was like the first time that we were near an In and Out. It was mm-hmm. so good. Though. We had copious amounts of In and Out, <laughs> like twice a day. It was just like that's what we were rifling through. In and okay, like, there's nothing it. comparable. Crazy. Funny. Who is the most likely to survive funny. in the wilderness? In the wilderness? Not me. I don't think. I think I got that. I think Matt does. He'd like get along with the. No, animals. Remember in our Matt podcast, our animals. podcast with I Justin. Would. Matt said he would. Or Justin said that Matt would because he would like mark trees and shit. I think I do think Matt would survive in the wilderness I would. the most. Tell us more about it. Well, like we said, Matt would be the type to have like the weird facts, like what berries to eat, what berries you can't eat, like all that type of shit. He would know like. Have what you seen the speech- Outdoor Boys YouTube channel? No. no. So obviously, I already know more than you guys both. Okay, do, so. okay, outdoor boy. But he's tough, outdoor boy. Dude, the I forget his name. Oh, doesn't watch him too much then. I do. It's, On a biased. deserted island, who would survive the longest? Is Not me. It, wait, what was the first one? Oh, in the wilderness. In the wilderness. So Separate. That's like, okay. Deserted island. We all know what my theory was. Yep. Blanket. Blanket to keep me warm while I'm waiting. Yep. I'm trying to think though. Is there really that much of a difference of like in the? Would you rather be stranded in the wilderness or on a deserted well, island? Well, a wilderness you could technically Tomato find tomato your way. To me. No, you could find your way to land. Like that's more oh, inhabitable. Oh, you totally could. Yeah. With with a deserted, deserted island, you're island like, you just have to fucked. work with what you got. Yeah. I'd make a big SOS out of wood. Yeah. On yeah. the sand. Yep. First step. No, no one's coming to help me. I'd be like Gilligan's Island. I'd make a little house, make some jewelry. Out of the pine and such. Okay, dude, That's you're good. so weird. Um, in the Arctic. Ooh. Oh, I'd be done for. I'd be toast. I already have really bad like finger, ear, nose, and feet circulation. Like I have like no like like they're all freezing all the time. Yeah. Don't say that. Temperature. Dude, that freaks me out. My feet are always cold. How cold are my feet? Your feet are cold. They get freezing cold. Yeah. constantly. Like my body can be. I mean, I could be producing sweat with cold feet. Mm-hmm. That's an issue. That is an issue. The Arctic, I'd be done. I'd have no, to the walk Arctic, my feet off after I'd rather, an hour. I'd rather be stranded in the Arctic, though, than the, than fucked, the heat. Fucked up. You're oh, done. No way. You, Desert, Nick? You Nick. can get shade. No. Oh, my God. I ra- I cannot. Like, middle of the desert. I can't survive a second with hot heat on me. Like, I feel with like I'm going to, like, heat. just die. With hot heat Nick, on give me. me the ball. I can't like, survive a second Matt, with hot heat on mid, me. Mid-desert, no water. That's fucked. Like, I'm just going to let the rattlesnakes get me. Take me away. <laughs> Take me down to your little cave? What? They don't have caves. Pull me away. I don't know. Poison me. <laughs> Rattle away. See, like, in these scenarios, I'm genuinely, I know I'm not surviving, so I'm going to try and naturally go out is always my thought process. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. deserted island, where are the rabid monkeys that want to kill me? Bring them <laughs> on. You know what I mean? Uh, Arctic. Where's the sharks? Polar bear. Can I jump into sharks. frozen water? Let's just freeze it out. You know, <laughs> like I, I have no, I have what no. If you I have though? no willingness <gasps> to try and survive these unsurvivable situations. And well, that's my unfree- thing. I don't have the mentality for it. And that goes back to the first one. Can we fucking stop with bouncing <laughs> balls around the podcast studio? Let's be professional. Okay. Yeah. In the Arctic, I'm diving in water. Deserted island. I'm finding the monkeys. In the wild, I'm finding the bears. Let's just call it quits here. Okay. Desert, snakes, owls, cacti. Nick, Ooh, however you need. Okay, go to the next one. Who would you ever go on a show like Survivor? Oh, my God. Uh, Always <laughs> go to these questions. 
Would you? I feel like I couldn't, like, I could manipulate these people, but not in those conditions. That's why I'm built for the Big Brother house. Give me a nice little cup with my custom name on it. Give me groceries, and I'll manipulate these hosts till I'm the winner. <laughs> okay, dude, you're funny. <laughs> That's what that is, uh -huh. right? Survivor, you're taking my food away and asking me to perform <laughs> in a game. No, <laughs> I need to be fully fueled to do this. I agree. But that's why Survivor's like, that's literally the difference between Survivor or Big Brother. It's like Big Brother's more critical thinking because you have fucking food you to survive. To bed I can sleep. Correct. Till tomorrow, you know? I kind of feel like I'd like, I, would, I don't think I'd win Survivor. Oh my God. What? Just the whole table shifted. I think I'd like, I think I'd do all right in Survivor. I just think like for me, it's like, I can't. Like you're saying, Nick, I can't, like, go... No, I can't go play a game if I haven't been fed a fucking meal. <laughs> yeah, I can't play a fucking immunity challenge with a spoon of rice in my system. Correct. Like that. I need, I need <laughs> so much food to start my day. I agree. I agree. I can't do shit if I haven't eaten dinner. Correct. And if dinner that. is a fucking grain of rice with a grain of sand, I'm calling it quits. Yeah. You Inst know? Instantly. Not I, your thing. That's yeah. fine. No. I would. Would you ever, ever like say you like they reached out, they want you on it for like a lot of money? Would you go on it if I get the good edit? People, you know, you know, people get like bad edits and they look like the villain in the show. Yeah, I want to look like the villain in the show if I behave so. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's thing, also bro. so crazy. Like, to me, there's that editing in shows that like you can easily be like targeted as like the yeah, villain. It's like so anything crazy. you do positive after you've done something negative, they'll cut it out and then just keep yeah. all the bad things you do and be like, this is the person to root against when you're That's actually the mind show. blowing that they have did I did I just hear like a whistle or am I losing my mind? Mind blowing. Poosh. No, you're know. losing it. Um, is that no. not crazy? I think like, it's crazy that they paint someone like the evil villain blame it on the TV edit. shows. Nothing. RuPaul song. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Anyway, I just think that that's crazy and absurd. Yeah, because it's like that's a real human being. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, once again, I've I've gone on this tangent before. I don't understand why we're not praising people for being cutthroat on reality TV shows. Yeah, I agree. That's the person I want to win. That's just get, like befriending somebody, voting them out. See ya. Get out of here. I love when they get a little blind idols. Oh. What is a scenario you're or like when they play the immunity idols and they're like they think they're all cool they're like actually uh Jeff I have an immunity idol in and my they give pocket. it to Jeff and then and then he's like ah uh, this is actually an immunity idol no votes for can you stop talking will count whatever. what is a scenario you are confident that you could survive in does it have to be somewhat risky bed bag of chips RuPaul for me that's my answer <laughs> yeah. I could definitely survive in those conditions um Funyuns my comforter I think 70 degrees is my ideal temperature wherever I am just saying what I'm just putting that out there did anybody ask no matter if I'm inside outside wherever um, 70 degrees is the best temperature ever Matt what's a situation you are maybe like 65 a scenario you are confident that you could survive in Boring. Matt, Moving come on. on. Like, dude, you have to answer the question. How long can humans I don't go? Have an answer, Ready? Okay, dude. shut up. How long can humans go without food or water? Water first. Take your guesses. Water's like way shorter than food. I think water's like like two weeks. What? Matt, are you serious? Take your guess if you're gonna screech like this. Way less than that. I want to say like three days. Matt, I just fucking said something. Two weeks. The answer is three days. I've gone more than three days without water. Before, yeah, but so you're you're true. still consuming some level of liquid. Liquid, like you're having soda or like tea or something. You think like the second you get to like two weeks with no water, I'm gonna start die? right now. Don't let's Man, not. You, do I this. go three days. You already water need to drink time, water. I'm convinced I you other. have a fucking kidney stone. You Nick, need to drink shut water. the fuck up about that. Stop. Putting what it, is his thing? <laughs> just stop. <laughs> are you mad at me for saying this? No. Okay. Just stop putting it in the world. I don't want that out there. Okay. <laughs> Why? It's so <laughs> scary. It's, okay, yeah, I understand. Chris, food. Wow. Can you guys f stop? Let me see the ball. You're the worst. Great decision making. Food. Three weeks. Food is um. No, two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two yeah. Weeks. It literally says depends. Your body will use stored fat and muscles as fuel. I'm good. Oh. I'm oh. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got weeks to survive. <laughs> Um, what That's do you so think the number one survival tip is? Um, like someone was like, wait, does that last sentence about the, 
um, using your body stored fat, fat and muscle. Does as that fuel? technically mean when you say like, oh, my stomach's eating itself? It literally is. Possibly. Well, not when I say it. I'm being dramatic. I yeah. just want a meal. But <laughs> yeah. when they are, maybe. That's so crazy. What do you think is the number one survival tip? Number one survival tip? Um, be ready. Matt? Be ready. Like, you have to be ready to survive. Like, if you're unprepared, then you're obviously not going to survive. But if you're prepared to survive, you're going to... I think preparation and, like, mm. being ready to be able Matt? to survive. Find water. Food, water, shelter. Oh, that's a really good one. Preparation is the answer on the tape there. That's crazy, Chris. I would never have said that if I didn't see it on this. I'm just like that. You're just ready. Prepared. Are you prepared? Do you have a kit? Um, I don't have a kit. Is that what we're getting into? The kits? I don't know. I'm just asking a question. I don't know. I feel like... Extreme survival scenarios. What would you do if we lost all electricity, no internet, no lights, no water, no heat? Find the monkeys. Nick, shut the fuck <laughs> up about the monkeys. Take me out. Get the Nick, rabid baboons. You're in your house. <laughs> I know, but like, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm not in my house, kid. I'm in fucking... <laughs> I'm in before time land. I'm with the dinosaurs in my cave with fucking little carvings of art and my lantern. All that's you what have I to got. do is get a candle or a flashlight that's battery powered. Yeah, that'll help that no internet, no lights, no water, no heat. You'll have lights now. I'm freezing cold. No, you're not. Depends Why am I season. not? Because it depends what season it is. you find shelter. If you're in, I'm saying if that happens right now in our house, if we lost all the electricity, I just light a few candles, get the, my battery lights, whatever. My fridge is gonna go out. Sure, that's fine. I have I have canned canned goods. I have soup and whatnot. You How are you gonna heat the suit up? You don't have to. It's not gonna be as enjoyable. No, you I could eat cold soup. <laughs> <laughs> No, find me the monkeys. That's Nick, my go-to. Shut the fuck up about the monkeys, you idiot. No, I'm serious. <laughs> You're a monkey. What do you think you need in your at-home survival kit? Um, a battery charger, like a battery outlet or like a battery source. I would say water. I'd say non non pre um what's the word? Non go bad food. Perishable. Perishable. Yeah, yeah. And then um <laughs> non go bad. So like water, food, batteries. A lighter or matches. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Non-perishable food and water. Yep. Power generator. Batteries, candles, and matches. And what else would you add? Um, a couple <sighs> fruit roll-ups, maybe some gushers. A game. A game, yeah, like a board game. A monkey collar. Ooh. Nick, what are you saying about these monkeys? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think that that's so crazy that there's like animals that you can call. Like with like then speak their language. Mm -hmm. Like if you get like a duck whistle, you can duck whistle. You can speak duck, and they come over. I'm pretty speak sure it's duck. not called a duck. Whistle. A duck whistle to speak duck. It's a duck whistle, right? What the fuck? I actually the, um, that was the cringiest thing I've ever. What's seen. the um? <laughs> what's it called? The uh, duck boats in Boston. Remember swan when swan boats? No, the duck boats, idiot. <laughs> Pretty sure they're called the swan boats. The duck boat. No, tours. they are the duck boat. Oh, tours. Yeah, the duck boats. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys. I don't talk and about they give you a little bill. Yeah, Quack. what is it called? Quack. I just called it's it a duck little call. Bill. The duck whistle. The duck call. It's not a duck whistle. Oh my god. It's a called the fucking duck whistle. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, sure. What did the duck tell me when he stole my space camp lip balm? Just put it on my bill. There exactly. Because he's going to put it on his bill and he stole it and he owes me money, so he's putting it on his bill. <laughs> okay, we're going to move forward. You guys are driving me a little crazy right now. Why? I'm finding it hard to survive in your presence. Nick, I'm talking about surviving saying, this podcast. Bro. What if you were stranded at sea? I'm <laughs> tipping the raft. No, that's what I'm done. I'm tipping the raft. You know what I'm doing? I'm pricking my finger, putting my finger in there so that the shark smells my blood from miles away. Yeah. Come over here. I'm in this raft. Chew and swallow me. No, I, I do agree. <laughs> Take do. me out. <laughs> I'm s oh, my God. I, I just assumed I was in a raft because there is no fucking way I'm stranded <laughs> at sea treading water. No. <laughs> oh, my God. If I'm stranded at sea treading water, I'm penciling my, my body. So I just dip down and I'm blowing out of my nose. <laughs> so that I just start to sink. Animals, please come take I me out. I would go low enough where it's like uncomfortable to even try to get back to the top. Correct. You where are I mean? the piranhas at? Seriously. No, literally. I honestly like 
I think about it. If I'm on a boat and it's flooding with water and it's like going down anyway, I'm jumping. I'm running and jumping off and then just hoping. What's the longest if you were like for me, I'm, I wouldn't attempt to do this. Okay. So it's hard to answer. Yeah. But what's the longest you could tread water if you were just stuck in water in a survival situation? I have it a day under my belt. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. I got a oh solid my 24. God. Yeah. Yeah. 10 minutes, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe crazy. five. No, last time we went to Palm Springs, remember I treaded water for an hour. That was crazy. Yeah, I, who, Chris goes, I'm going to tread water no, for no, an no, hour. No, no, someone dared me to do it. Someone was like, you won't. Yeah. I did. It was weird. It was weird. weird. For fun. Too. For fun. I treaded water for a full hour. Yeah. My legs me. were so sore. It felt like I was walking on like sand for the rest Dude, of the if day. I, I think you could do another 23. Sea. I think I could, if I, if survival mode was kicked in, I could do like a full day of treading water for sure without question i couldn't you just have to alternate between your feet and your hands like you keep yourself up with your hands for a little bit and then you switch your feet hands feet and then you just let the other one rest while you keep yourself up that's what i did (laughs) nick's not buying any of this i'm literally swimming straight down yeah actually that's my scenario no because i think like if if i if i was like on a boat that sunk actually I do now think about it. I think that I could tread water long enough for like a helicopter to come and find me for sure. Actually, mm. like is if they give me like boat goes down, they're like they call they're looking in, like, for you. Yeah, like if they call in like our boat's going down, our boat's going down, and, like come help us, and they're already sending help as the boat's descending, and it gets there in about twenty four hours. I'd be alive. Without I'd question. try I my so. best to be. I, I would be alive, I dude. At, at all of this has to do with wildlife. Once wildlife is involved. That's why I'm saying the monkeys and the sharks. Well, it's also They're scary because I feel like every single bring boat. them all. I'm fucking opening Jumanji's box <laughs> when I get out there. Let's play Jumanji. I'm stuck at sea. Let's play Jumanji. Good, Let's play Jumanji. I'll go idea. first. That's a quote right there. Let's play stuck Jumanji. At sea. Suck it. Stuck at sea. Let's play Jumanji. Actually, though, sounds like a little riddle. Let's just fucking see what can be thrown my way. Good pun. Sea arg. Oh. A 25-year-old was recently lost at sea for two days after a fishing trip gone wrong off the coast of Florida. Oh, my God. This got intense. Hope he's okay. Wait, that's it? Lost his engine, got swept out to sea, and capsized, which is the boat flips over. Yeah. Yeah. Causing him to lose all of his survival equipment. No. No. Uh, Oh, he was rescued by the Coast Guard. Nice. That's good. After two days. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Boss story, though. Wait, this is recently, Nick? Nick? Yeah, a 25 year old was recently lost at sea. Was wow, the sentence, that's think. crazy. Wow. Hold on. Is that's there a wild. link to see more? I guess I'm standing on my boat capsized. 25. I feel like that's a prime age of fitness as well to like really help yourself. I've been working, not my fitness. He's my witness. <laughs> Ooh. Is that Fergie? Yeah, I think so. We don't yeah. talk about Fergie enough. It's literally this. Fergalicious. This we song. don't talk about Fergie enough in this room. <laughs> <laughs> what should we talk I about? I love Fergie. Me too. Fergie is like, she's done so much for just me. You mm-hmm. know, and she said, Fergalish is deaf. I like her song with Jack Harlow. Well, it's not her song, but like his remix, First Class. I can put you in first class. Yeah, then it's like her. Not a, not a fan of that song. I love Fergie, though. She's done so much for me. Name three things Fergie has done for you. She gave us that national anthem. Yeah. She gave us Fergalicious. Mm-hmm. And Black Eyed Peas. And she was, do you remember the show The Four? Yep. She was the fucking funniest host ever on that show. She was lit on that show. I love Fergie. I'm a big Fergie fan Mm -hmm. too. Fergalicious Death. I'd agree. She's awesome. All right, next. Growing your online business can be easy with the help of Shopify. When we first started posting content, selling merch was the furthest thing from our minds. But when we launched our first official Let's Trip store, Shopify helped us navigate the process from beginning to end. Whether you're selling a little, a lot, or somewhere in between, Shopify will help you feel confident in the growth of your business. Shopify is the global commerce platform that can help you sell at every stage of your business. You can sell without needing to code or design. Just bring your best ideas and Shopify will help you open up shop. From the launcher online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're selling t-shirts, phone cases, dog collars, or anything else, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 
36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And you can sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Shopify made it easy for us to celebrate major milestones in our business with every merch drop from the very first to million milestones. One thing we love about our Shopify is that it's easy to set and track your goals based on how big you want to grow your business. Running a successful business means getting the insights you need wherever you are. With Shopify's single dashboard, you can manage orders, shipping, and payments from anywhere. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash cut, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash cut now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash cut. Matt, how are you feeling I've on, been a one, working on 1 on to 10 fitness, of your survival? Nick, shut the Whoop! fuck up. 1 to 10 survival, how do you feel right now? <laughs> Matt's bare. Not good. I can't believe you. While you may sometimes have to grin and bear it with your family, you shouldn't feel that way when talking to your doctor. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will actually make you feel comfortable and listen to you. And we're not talking about a few, we're talking about tens of thousands of doctors, all with verified patient reviews, so you can make sure the vibes feel right before you meet them for your first appointment. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. We're used to looking for everything we need online, and if we ever needed to find a doctor, this is what we'd use. Go to ZocDoc.com slash camera and download ZocDoc app for free, then book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash camera. ZocDoc.com slash camera. Why? You just look so disheveled. We're here together. I'm just tired and kind of in pain a little. I don't know what's going tired on. Tired and in pain. Sounds dramatic. Sounds someone, familiar. Someone last doesn't, Monday. Yeah. Someone doesn't have um, survival skills. Yeah, you need to fix your sleep schedule. I'm getting concerned. Yeah, you have to start sleeping more. You no, more no, rest. guys. Chill. Have you ever tried to reinvent a new you for the New Year's? We've all been there. This year, don't reinvent yourself. Just rehydrate yourself with liquid IV. With three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single sugar-free stick so you can feel like a hydrated new you ready to take on 2024. Liquid IV sticks are convenient and easy to use anywhere for instant hydration on the go. Having a pre-measured packet makes it almost effortless to stay hydrated. We love keeping Liquid IV sticks in our podcast studio, travel bags, and in the car for that extra boost of hydration when we need it most. We are always on the go, and Liquid IV makes it easy to make hydration a priority. All you need to do is mix your Liquid IV packet into a glass or a bottle of water. They taste amazing and come in delicious flavors like white peach, green grape, and lemon lime. Plus, they are more fun to drink and more hydrating than regular water. For maximum hydration, simply mix your Liquid IV stick with 16 ounces of water. Every stick has 8 vitamins and nutrients essential for everyday wellness, plus provides 3 times more electrolytes than leading sports drinks. Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code CUT at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code CUT at liquidiv.com. Don't worry about Matt. Are you good? I'm fine. Do the people have to worry? No. Okay, I, please. You guys are the ones making the... Quit those sad edits you're about to make. We're good. Well, no, I think um, the brain needs eight hours of rest a, day, a night. You don't get that. Uh, he was rescued by the Coast Guard. What if you were kidnapped and put in solitary confinement? Oh my god. I, what would you do? What? <laughs> I already have my plan and this no, is like this, is, this actually, is getting into like fucked up territory. No, for this me, is the most but I would just pretend that I have like Stockholm syndrome when you like fall in love with your kidnapper and yeah. then I'd betray them. That would be my strategy. <laughs> it's if a I got great kidnapped. idea. That's a good strategy. Great strategy. You would hope that the person kidnapping you has See, a See, I feel like you. this is like yeah. the scenario I could survive the best in. 
Really? Whoa. This is really weird. That is crazy. I was Out of like the, the wilderness opposite. in the middle of the ocean? This what is mental easiest. survival skills would you have in solitary confinement? Like, what if you were just in solitary confinement, like they kidnapped you, put you there, and didn't come back for like a month? I'd be fine. Oh <gasps> my God. Like, if someone threw. <coughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I gasped so hard my throat got instantly dry. It depends my where eyes I are watering. Am. Yeah, if someone like throws me in their basement and I'm like chained up. Okay, keep in mind you're in an all dark room. You got like enough you have dark you have room. one muffin per day till they come back. But you don't know that it's per day. You just are assuming that that's like your muffin supply. And you think <laughs> they could come they, they could come back in a week. But what are we going to do? Because uh, that no, way, if you I'm don't ration your muffins, you're going to be starving a weekend. I'm, I'm definitely... Let's talk about it. I'm definitely... <laughs> I'm definitely rationing muffins. Let's discuss. Off. I'm definitely rationing off rip. Like, I'll, I'll probably start yeah. with, like, just the muffin top. No, I feel like I'd start just clearing one muffin hole. Just to start, I have 25 muffins. I'm going to just clear one first day. No, because... Yeah, yeah, I'm eating a muffin first <laughs> yeah. day. Like, come on. I'm probably eating two muffins. <laughs> I'm probably starving that second week. <laughs> really? Definitely, actually. Yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, where the fuck are you? I'd be banging on the like door. I just keep thinking of the black phone, that that uh, movie. Great movie. Yeah. Where they put the little kids in the basement. Oof, that's creepy. Yeah, no, that's not good. Yeah. Very creepy. Um, I, Who the fuck was it? I saw. No, Stockholm Syndrome would be my go-to for sure strategy, especially if I was in that movie. You're a sicko. <laughs> I didn't say shit. You're, You're a sicko. Insane. Um, You're <laughs> what do you need to survive in the wilderness? This kid's a sicko. Would you know how to build a fire? No. Yes. I wouldn't. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Do you know one time I got bored? Not without Flint. I feel like all... Well, I don't know what we should do. <laughs> and this is an actual thing. Is all the land on this earth discovered or what? I don't know. Like the land. I'm not talking water. We know. Huh? Not, I, I don't think. Let's don't, discover all the land, right? Then the government. Guys, my leg. Let's reach out to the, Matt. Fix your. Go sit in one of those chairs now. For real, I can't do this pain in that chair. Go ahead, Nick. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Go ahead. Then after we figure out, we've got all the land covered. This is all the land. We figure out where's the land that people could get stranded on. You know what I mean? Like, like LA is triangle? not one of those things. You can't be stranded in yeah, like, like all the islands and stuff. All the islands, all the fucking whatnots and who's he what's it's. Let's make <laughs> our little kits, the survival kits. Here's the food. Here's an emergency button with a location device, a GPS. Yeah. And here's some food, water, machete. Survive for a bit. Click that button right when you get here, though, and we'll come reach out and get you. Nick, do you know how much? Let's get a podium on the beach of each island. Nick, you are sick. And the podium has, got, has a big flag, a big beam in the sky, like Fortnite. Like you can see the beam. Oh, my like God. the bat signal almost. You're like, oh, let me head to the beam, hit the button. <laughs> I got my stuff. I'm surviving here for a couple days. I'll be out in no time. That's my thing. Let's figure out all the land and get these beacons there. What was I? I was about to say something. Like they're not gonna do that though. We need people to fucking. Be stranded on islands. It like creates character for the world. I feel like. Okay. You're insane. What? When was the last person? I've been working, not my fitness. He's my witness. What was the last person discovered from like a from like a deserted island? When do you think that was? Like most recent. I just think of the movie. Unfortunately, Castle. that is not a stat I have at the top of my head. Yeah. I, I was just thinking. When do you think? Like how often do you think people are driving around checking? Let's Nowadays, check. though, it's really hard to get stranded. When was opinion. the last... Just like last modern tech, like, dude, there's so much going on. Time. That, like, uh, and, like, someone. every single... You have to think of all the boats and every travel device is so calculated. Like, in order to, like, operate a boat, you gotta be like, hey, like, you gotta, you gotta tell people. People know where you're going. Yeah. You're on the radar. Like, to be fully lost at sea or, like... In the sky is like in 2021, crazy. three people were stranded on an uninhabited island. Were rescued after 33 days by the. Oh Coast my god, Guard. I actually remember that. I think. Wow, go yeah. Coast Guard yeah. Alexander Selkirk. He is often considered one of the inspirations for the character Robinson Crusoe in 1704. And he was stranded on an uninhabited island, of South Pacific, for years and for for four years and four months before being rescued. What? I don't know what that just said. 
Alexander Selkirk, who survived approximately four years on a deserted island. Wow. When? When did he do this? What the fuck? Four years? Imagine like missing COVID because you were just stranded on an that island. That was in 1709. How the fuck do we have these stats? Yeah, no. That's what I want to know. Before the internet, where was this information? That's actually so Is this like crazy. a folktale passed down from grandparents? I wonder like like what it was what it must be like to like go from that into like regular life. Right? Dude, you can't do it. Like imagine That's like, why when they fucking I feel like I'd prefer That's to why be when barefoot. they like free prisoners and stuff that were like especially like imagine going to prison for something like when like dad was born. Yeah. Right? And then you get out. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. What? Just what's happening? Dude, you had fucking rotary phones at home and black and white television. What are you up to now? Getting an iMac? An iPhone? <laughs> crazy to think about, Nick. Shopping online? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Going to the mall and there's like the cyborg directory that you have to like click Don't to even figure get me started out where on you're DoorDash. Going. They bring dinner right to your right door. Right to your door, bro. No, you're going to smoke cigarettes with your friends at the baseball park after school. That's what you're doing. Yeah. That's what's fucked up. It's like, how do they expect people who are imprisoned to be like, oh, you can find, you have parole, you're free, free to go. What is he going to do? Yeah. That's in this sad. modern world. That's devastating. Yeah, it is crazy. That's not even that's devastating. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, you have to think how much changes just in one year time. A lot. Dude, what the so fuck was much. AI? What were you guys doing with AI 2020? Nothing. Nothing. There it is. I'm not doing shit with AI now, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I know I could say AI. I wouldn't even thought A and I together then. Yeah. A E I O U though, <laughs> I would have said my vowels. I know like that close, but you're like weird. <laughs> weird. Okay. He's like Patrick Star. Who would build the shelter out of us? Oh, me and Matt. Our car- our carpentry instincts would kick in. Come on. We would need I like would. a cute shelter though. Like if y'all try some ugly shit, rearrange. I need like a pretty palm leaf. I want to take. I want to be able to take like. Oh my god! If I had my phone, I'd take Instagram pictures. <laughs> Nick, here. what? That's what the shelter would need to be in my Nick, head. You're Survivable. Insane, Nick. And if I had my phone, I'd take Instagram pictures right here. We should. We would need a vlog camera. We should. Vlog, oh my god! We should do a week in the wilderness. No. And vlog. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Not happening. Yes. I agree. You're not even letting that fully <laughs> exit your mouth. No. We should. Would you be able it. to spot? I, we should. Would you be able to spot poisonous plants? No. I wish. I just talked about how much I wish I could. I wish I could spot poison. I think ivy. I know what poison ivy looks like. No, you don't. I think I do. I think it has that red tint to it. It's Hold like on. green but red on the edges. If I'm not mistaken. I remember. It's also crazy that there's poison ivy. Yeah, that shit's so insane. Like that's a thing. There should be poison ivy ivy cream. And like, if you think you're gonna go near poison ivy, like if you're going on a hike, you can just rub up on that cream. Okay, dude. I don't. And then you just walk freely, and then you're like, oh, I got touched by a leaf. Not worried if what it is though. This is what poison ivy looks like. Let me see. I would have been able to tell you that. That's a very interesting. I would leave. have been able to tell you that if I saw it in real life. I hundred percent would have been. Wait, able to I want to go find poison, poison ivy. ivy. Matt, Let's I just go. googled leaves and showed you the first one that popped up. Actually, that is not poison ivy. Get fucked. I've seen. Okay, then I've. I. Sw- I know it has red Chris, on it. I know it has when, red. Remember when we? S- this is poison ivy. No, I wouldn't have guessed. Let that. me see. Let me see. The let other see. one looked. That's poison ivy. Too. Yeah, that's red poison ivy. Yeah. I think poison ivy. I've seen a leaf like just like the still. first one you showed me. No, I kind of fucked you up. It looked like poison ivy. And I, that first one you showed me, I swear to God, remember that, like that place. Cartoon remember leaf. that place we'd skateboard and had the rocks on the beach. Yes, that's where remember? mom and dad got married. Well, yeah. right around that? there. Yeah, I remember seeing my first poison ivy bush there, and dad was telling me it's poison Did ivy. You touch so it. So technically, dad's wrong because he he was the one that gave me that information. The so. easiest way to identify poison ivy. Is compound leaves with three leaflets. Leaflets. Oh my god, triplets! Oh my god. Wait, is this a big secret that poison ivy is just triplets? No. It's not a I big secret. I think that's what it is. No. Okay. I'd say so. That's crazy that poison ivy poison ivy is baller. Check that off. <laughs> yeah. I have a list of things that are baller. Poison ivy is one of them. A plant well, that you cannot touch, I'll poison you. Yeah, I'll give you hard. a rash on your skin and make you itch, and I'm a leaf. Leave me alone, he says. Shut up forever. <laughs> poison, ivy, poison ivy is so lit. Yeah, that's really I hard. love poison ivy. Who's with me? I want to get not. a poison ivy security at my house. That's what I'm going to get. Like, in my... <laughs> <laughs> same. I agree. In my doorway, 
of my front door, I'm going to have like the frame of my body just cut up in poison ivy so I can just perfectly fit through. Like, you know those games at Nickelodeon where you're like this and like the wall like closes in? That's what I want for poison ivy at my house. Ooh, then I have to like walk oh through God. and like perfectly shape my body to it and then anyone else who walks into my house just getting littered with poison ivy if they touch <laughs> that your <wall>. face. <laughs> and then they, they just, they would still kind of like get into my home because it's not too secure. It's just leaves. All right, next, next one. a bitch. They'd that would be, be your only line. You're not like ADT security, like cameras. <laughs> no. Stuff. Just poison ivy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and termites. Would, termites are annoying. Would you rather... <laughs> termites is such like a good, like, just termites. Like, they're just eating away at your... At your survival, population. would you rather. Okay, this is Would fun. you rather have to survive in the desert or the rainforest? Rainforest. Rainforest. Dude, there aren't there like jaguars and shit. In the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there's like <laughs> yes to the rainforest. I'd rather go out by the animals in the rainforest than the desert. Imagine dying like a, a poison scorpion? dart, fucking frog, and then like a fucking scorpion dying to a little frog is no. kind of embarrassing. I feel like a frog KO is gnarly. Do you know how many other venomous and poisonous and terrifying creatures there are? Poison ivy. See. I feel like I'd just pet them and they'd be okay. Matt, what? Like, I feel like, I don't know. In outer space or Antarctica? Like, stranded in space? How'd that even happen? Oh, my God. I guess I'd rather stay on Earth. Antarctica. I'd rather be on Antarctica. 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 Y'all, y'all can find humans. me. Y'all can find me. Yeah. I'm ice I'm ice fishing while I wait. You think you're going to catch anything big? <laughs> I'm not even, I'm barely going to dig in the hole. Yeah. Let's all ice plunge in Antarctica. No, Nick. not happening. Have you seen the video? The lady goes to do an ice plunge in real water, and then the current so real strong, water. the second she goes under, just sweeps her away. Oh, don't <laughs> tell me that. Under the ice. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe people still break ice or walk on frozen ice or skate on frozen ice. Hello. <laughs> You're going to drown. Yeah. That's so Anyone scary. Anyone who walks on frozen ice and falls through and drowns, Nick, don't say what you're going to I'm not going to finish the thought, yeah. but you all know where I'm going. Yeah. It's like, let's use our head. Yeah. Nick, come let's, on. Because sometimes it, Chris. it's like, yeah, but sometimes it's so frozen and the odds are just insane that it broke. No matter what, I'm not walking over frozen I ice. would walk in, in like fucking... Also, we live in a modern world. You know what I mean? It's like people aren't anticipating that you're going to fucking swim from this end to the other. Walk around. Go on a bridge. Yeah. There's no need to walk on frozen ice. Yeah. No one should do it. It is dangerous. Hello. That's going to be the first thing I tell my kids in the winter. Never walk on frozen ice. How often is the opportunity to present water. itself to walk on frozen water? Often enough for people to be getting taken out by it and people okay. to be jumping in cold plunges and getting fucking wept away <laughs> by the fucking water. True. You're right. Never am I allowing that to happen. First thing I'm telling my kids. That's the first thing ever. Daddy's uh, got you. Don't walk on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't steal Don't say bad words Don't call people names It's not nice Okay you know, You'd want to be treated But it's top 10 Really What about like Putting forks in the outlet I'll just have the outlet covers For a while You know mm. what I mean That that I can easily prevent Right I'm gonna be there He's, That's so crazy My kid's yeah, never gonna like... leave The kitchen with a metal equipment You know what I mean They're Metal equipment eat, Like babies use like Plastic and silicone <laughs> Like little things They can't use metal They're gonna stab their little Faces with it. <laughs> okay. And so by the time they're using forks and knives, they're gonna already know that rule. You know okay, what I mean? You're, you're good. There's a lot your kids would learn in school if yeah, you but didn't so, teach them. So if your kids eating with plastic silverware, you're still threatened by frozen water. Absolutely. <laughs> Why? Don't go crawling onto frozen water. It's a bad move. I think they're good. I don't think they're gonna go near it. Yeah, you'd hope so, but I'm gonna ensure that. Okay. Especially if I live by frozen water. I don't right now. I wouldn't tell my kids that if I lived in this house. No. But if then I what if one day they travel LA, to like there's Minnesota. no fucking frozen water here? What if they travel back home to Boston or something and they find like a nice lake? If I lived in Nick, I'm fucking with you. I'm just trying to say how long you talk about the fucking frozen water kids. It ain't the frozen water kids. It's the frozen water's effect. Okay. On the oh, children. On the kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is in like a list of actual survival things I tell my kids. Okay. What about quicksand? No. What about how to fend off a garden snake? 
garden snakes are Tell Chris, you're acting snakes. like this isn't a probable situation. It's guys, not I have to probable. It is. No, it's not. It is a 10 minutes, man. It is a probable situation. No, it's not, Nick. How many times have you seen a garden snake? I don't know. Don't, don't answer know that. Done. How many times have you seen frozen water, lake, ocean, beach? Like 20 plus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what was the other scenario you gave me? Um, it was garden snakes. I don't, quicksand. Quicksand. How many times have you seen quicksand? <laughs> Zero. Okay. So which of those rules do you think is okay, most suitable? Okay, go to the suitable? next topic. If someone moves to Massachusetts and there's frozen water on the lake in go the backyard, the what are you going to tell them first? Don't walk in quicksand. Beware of garden snakes. Or don't go walk on that water. Matt? I'm ready for you to go to the next topic. Me Nick. too. Yeah, because your foolishness has taken you <laughs> over. And now you feel foolish and silly. Don't point at me and say silly. Silly. Okay. Silly. Foolish. Stupid. A shark attack or plane crash? Oof. Plane crash. Oh, I don't know. That's like, those are my bottom two if I had to pick. <laughs> yeah, those are my yeah. bottom two. No. How about none of these? <laughs> yeah. How about safe and sound? How about that? How about at home? A plane crash? Do you guys, I don't think I've said this before. Do you know how pissed I'd be if I got all the way to where I was going on my plane and it crashed during landing? Oh my God. <laughs> if the plane's going to crash, let's do it during takeoff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. During landing is ridiculous. I agree. I've already had my fucking delta experience you know what i mean i wonder um what's it called i wonder um what the fuck was i gonna say how big the shark is compared to this flight nick go ahead to the next like, one yeah the, how big like, the shark is compared to the flight doesn't matter yeah, like, what's the would you rather? is it like a full big great white shark because like you're toast on that like i think if you're facing 1v1 of great white you're instantly dead i think in a plane crash you have more probability less survival. extreme survival situations and skills okay. self-defense okay if someone goes to like pepper spray you in public or yeah. they go to fight you, what are you, what is your self defense mechanisms? Matt? Matt's an art. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. That's the Matt's eyes. an orange belt in karate. I am. Yeah. Me Tell too. us about this orange belting. Well, I was an orange I belt. I noticed you're wearing then, your orange for it. That's not why I'm wearing orange. No, I think I'd hit him with the little. I'd go for the eyes. Okay. The chicken. I remember learning that. No, the gobbler, the gobbler. goes up, up. <laughs> oh, that was up. I call it the falcon. That ain't the gobbler. That's the falcon. <laughs> oh! I just hit my own teeth. My own teeth are going to fall out, bitch. Ah. You guys I'm, know I already have half a fake front Why would you do that to yourself? I don't know. I was practicing. Oh Did you hear my teeth? Yes. Fully clanked. That noise was so funny. How? Why <laughs> would you do that, Nick? Oh my god. The next one. First aid and CPR training. <gasps> Me and Chris are first aid certified. Not anymore. First aid certified? CPR. First aid and CPR certified. Tell us about this. Um, in high school we had to <laughs> what? No, was, tell us about this. Oh, in high school we had to learn for the classes we took and now I we also are. learned, by the way. That's really? Good. Yep. For graphic design. Oh, you got a paper cut. Here comes the CPR <laughs> kit. <laughs> what? You have a paper cut. Oh, no. You use the fucking pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let me fucking resuscitate you. What would happen? Well, I mean, yeah, no. Not much. No, yeah. I actually kind <laughs> of forget CPR a little, but Heimlich, Heimlich if you're choking, dude, come we had to this me. crazy fucking machine that cut paper that would literally lob your hand off. I know exactly what you're talking about. What? I know exactly. Oh my <laughs> god! Did you not get that either, man? I was like, <laughs> I was like, is there a fucking alien species to my right? No, I thought that we, I was talking to a goblin. I mean, we had a couple Everybody. saws that, like, we had. There was a dude, yeah, carpentry. No, but there was a <laughs> saw that. It can like it, it feel the moisture, moisture in your finger, so like it, if you touch, you touch it, 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 it will just completely. stop and it won't cut See, you. See, we had one and it was a machine that it was like um, it was a massive paper cutter, but it had like a laser in the front. So it's like if you put your hand through and stepped on the pedal, it like would not drop the mm. thing. Oh, like the laser was like a guard. Yeah, like if the laser that was was, was being broken, broken. Yeah, that's smart. That's good. 
No, that's there's like you so can easily much... dodge the laser by putting your hand completely flat or like right over. There's so much safety stuff in carpentry, like it's insane. Yeah. yeah. Taking a skill like that in high school, if you have the option to, is such a great decision. I, I agree. agree. Do that, kids. Yeah. I remember there the was this world. one machine that like you push the wood through and it kind of like takes a layer, like the top layer off. It's kind Ooh. of like a um sander. It like thins no. it out. What's it called? It's like that. Do you know like the cheese thing where like you're getting a pound, a quarter the pound. The deli of, thing. Yeah, the quarter pound of cheese, and I'm it just like so slices familiar. it like one layer at a time. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that, but for big pieces of wood. I'd love. What's it called? To just I forget. Planer. Yeah. Yep. And the jointer. Jointer. Mm-hmm. But they're like when you push it through that machine, it like sometimes it can build up speed, and then like if you do it wrong, Woo! it will just fly, fly the straight other side. up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, I got I think chills. the worst thing that happened while we were in carpentry was some kid getting hit with a nail from a nail gun. Ow. And yeah. then another kid in our class who was actually crazy pulled the safety back on the nail gun and was just shooting nails across. Oh the my classroom. god. I vividly yeah. remember that. Yeah. Did he get suspended or no? No one, no, no one knew okay. to this day. Okay. Just aired it out right now. Fun. Well, glad he graduated, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, but um, actually though, I have full one hundred percent confidence in my Heimlich ability. Same. Just putting that out there. If someone's choking, I could easily help them. CPR, Good a little dick. questionable. <laughs> yeah, like, I accidentally cut to an old podcast, and it's like the brief was wrong. Uh, um, would you rather? We already did this. Less extreme self-defense, first aid, CPR, home safety, power outages. Mm. What would you do? What power outage? Like, like what is your what survival skills or situation skills? Would you in a it? power outage? Would you implement? Yeah, I just wait for the sun to come up. Nothing crazy. It depends on how long I know. I door dash with the charge I had left on my phone. Okay, dude. So I still no, got you battery. Know what I think Let's is get super, someone to come. Um, super necessary. I think in the future they're gonna implement everyone to have bunkers. I think it, this. I think that that's crazy. I don't think that. necessary. I is agree. crazy. I think there's some people listen who don't even have homes right now. I know that, but listen, you think they're gonna have everyone have bunkers? Listen to me. I think what we're gonna do in the future. Is we're going to get underground bunkers everywhere that kind of connect. Like, it's a big underground society. Oh, I hate this. Yes. Next, and then, please. This is No, but me. then if, um, what's it called? If, like, the world ever goes wrong, like, severe pollution everywhere, people can't live, live, like, on Earth, they're going to have to find, like, like, a place where it's just, like, full of clean air and it's, like, recycled and all that shit. I, like, just checked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have no I idea what's no going idea. on. Do you remember Mount Weather from 100? Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay. That was a sick show. Yeah. Really good show. I love that show. It was too long and the acting was bad in the first season. Oh. Go ahead, Nick. I didn't like it that much. Lost in a foreign city. See, this would actually have That would scare me. I oh would my be God. really scared. If I was in like Italy and everyone was speaking Italian. Yeah. Oh, I'd feel crazy. I feel like Google Translate's like I'd go pizza, pizza, please. And then, pizza. <laughs> then you just get pizza. That's the one thing I know. Pizza. Give me pizza. <laughs> but That's oh, not saying I was trying in Italy. I'd go up to anyone and be like, pizza, pasta, <laughs> linguine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just bring me the food. That's a good survival skill. That's like honestly the most important thing if you think about it. If you're ever stranded in Italy, we all know how to name Italian food. You'd survive off food. I gotta learn home and I'm good. And water. Water, drink. Definitely not that, yeah. right? Let's not drink. I don't know. Taking a guess. Yeah, that's, that, that's, I mean, I feel like they'd get it. If you guys had to and, like, your car broke down, would you know how to, like, change a tire? Yes. Yeah, but I don't have the shit in the car to do it, so, or a spare tire. So don't don't everyone, all cars have Everyone spare has tires? a spare tire. You have do a spare tire. Yes, man. It's, like, in, like, the... the Bunker of the or trunk it's underneath or like it. Under the Wouldn't car. have even known that. I think everyone so. has to have a spare. Oh my god, my biggest fear is like using a car jack and then like going under the car oh! and then it's just like boom, like collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, I gotta pee. That shit's so scary. That flap Stray. always just knocked the pee out of me. Go pee, man. No, 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 it's fine. We're Stuck good. in an elevator. Oh, oh my god, Matt. The TikTok oh, showed me and Nick. Oh my god. Okay, I have a very crippling fear of elevators. I hate them. Absolutely hate that. Me and Chris got stuck in one before for an hour. I saw a TikTok yesterday and I showed Nick and Chris. A guy was in an elevator and it's it got stuck and then started filling with water. No, thank you. I'm filling okay. with water. You're going to. Oh, my I God. I feel like I'd make my Holy new best shit. Like the next time I make a best friend, it's going to be stuck in an elevator together for an hour. And then we're just gonna leave besties. I just can't believe I, I that, won't like, go in an elevator with a stranger. That happens. I feel like an elevator malfunction happens so often. What happened? One you know what I really do not fuck with. 
Let's like I it. hate when places have elevators as the main or only option. I agree. Where are the fucking no? There stairs? has to be stairs. It's like where they obligated. at? Yeah, I, I know where are they at. Yeah. I don't Why know. are the stairs not right here? I feel like the or stairs, easier to find. I agree. The stairs should always be like next to the elevator. In my without opinion. question. Yeah. Where are the stairs? I remember people? like. It was so difficult for me to learn the difference between elevator and escalators growing up. So difficult. <laughs> but I did it one day. Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'll never forget. I was super worried. Yeah. I remember growing up being like, when is Chris going to figure out the elevator escalator situation? You did it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Hate you. Day-to-day survival. What do you need every day to survive in your day-to-day life? Pepsi. You're insane. Give me Soda. It. Soda. Soda. My phone. That sounds so corny, but I mean, yeah. That's I just not need, true, I though. I just need fresh you don't air. Need your phone to survive. Fresh air, a nice meal. Space camp tactic. Um, I don't Space know. Just phone. water, food. The basics. Ew. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I would need Matt Cerniolo's YouTube channel. Okay. Fresh love clothes and my lip balm. That's what I need. That's what I need. Honestly, sounds. I'd be like, where's my fresh love outfit? Where's my space camp lip balm? Where's Matt Sternell's YouTube channel? Let's trip merch. Of course. Yeah. More of important. Course. Most important. Wiggle your fingers. I gotta pee really bad. Can you Sorry shut up about Sorry, pissing? I just really no, survival I skills. What if you couldn't pee right now? I Let's can. test it out. Um. What are your survival must-haves? Survival must-haves. I feel like it's some type of blade or machete. Ooh! <laughs> wow, I'm getting straight into it. I um, f- mine's a blanket. As shockingly as that is, I a blanket so. brings me so much comfort. I could be drowning in the sea. Throw a blanket on me. I'm more comfortable. You're well, that's drowning. not true. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> drowning. Yeah. But a blanket in most other situations, I'd be a very happy I camper. love flashlights. I like being able to see. That's, that's good. a good one. Being completely complete- in the dark, a flashlight. Um, I thought you were just being sarcastic with me. No. Um, um, a friend, a stove, a mini, like a mini oven. Okay. That's not a, thing. a friend or like a fake friend, like not a fake friend, but like a fake friend, like an object, like I'd be like a, like a, like a ball. And this is getting like, weird. Oh, this Nick. is my buddy. And like, <laughs> this is like, someone buddy. to talk to, you know what I mean? A coconut, like, okay. Something. You're weird. I would need interaction, interaction of any kind. I'd like make fun of myself in my head and be like, oh, it's that tree talking Imagine, to me. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I just forgot when you get stranded, you don't have any mirrors. Like you won't know what you look like. <gasps> Until you're back. The water. The ocean. Yeah, but that's not a good enough mirror. I feel like every Disney movie got one of those. It's like the water, and they're like, I can almost see it. And it's like you okay. in the water. Okay. Okay. If you could choose anyone to keep you safe in all scenarios at all times, who would it be? One of you guys. James Bond. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I agree. No, let's get like... um The Rock. Who like just knows a lot? The guy. That you watch on YouTube. Oh, um... Abraham Lincoln. Okay, I'm okay. done. That's mine. Who would keep me safe the most? I feel like myself. Coyote okay. Peterson. When you can't rely on others, rely on the one thing you can trust. Yourself. I can't. This Who is, is like if someone... I feel like I needed someone to help me survive on a stranded island. John Cena, maybe. Oh, my I, God. Dad would be really nifty. Yeah. He'd try and explain to me what's happening. I'd be like, Dad, we gotta just get out of here. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I wouldn't want to be with mom. She can't swim. She'd be like really nervous. No hate to mom, but like. So would I. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be with you either. See, I don't want to be with mom. Like, let's just have a good chat while we wait it out. Okay. You know? Yeah, but like, I need someone who's going to be ready to survive and face all odds. All right, well, at that, being at that, I don't want to wrap that up. Trevor. I mean, he'd be lunch to the first animal you run into. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, he'd be sound asleep the whole time. It's like, wake up, we're stranded, Trevor. Yeah. yeah. Are you not starved? Get your head out of your fucking pillow, blanket. Trevor. Wake up. He's such a sleepy dog. Yeah. Dude, that dog, all he does is sleep. That's his survival skills. I wish that was me. It. I think he has insomnia. No, I was say insomnia, but it's not. It's Poppy like sleep. Epilepsy? Nope. Epilepsy. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this Monday's narcolepsy. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching this Monday's episode. (laughs) We appreciate it so much. We can't wait to see you next time here at the Cut the Camera podcast. (laughs) Goodbye, Matt. See y'all later. Hope you survive survive till Monday. Peace out. I can almost see it. 
That dream I'm dreaming. <laughs>